Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 favorites metal packs. Um, I just did a video of my top 5 favorite steel books if you'd like to check that out. Um, now I'm going to go on to my top 5 favorite metal packs. And the funny thing about this is that, you know, um, metal packs, you might not even know what a metal pack is, but they are not as common as steel books, obviously. Um, and with this top 5, I'm actually doing the only 5 that I own. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I only have five, but still, they're all very nice, and I did rank them, you know, in order from my fifth favorite to my very, very favorite. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be going through and showing you, you know, what my fa five that I own are, and how what I think about them. So yeah, um, if you like, you can tell me what your five favorites are. Um, so yeah, and if I'm missing out on any, like, cool metal packs uh, that I should have gotten, you know, because like I said, these are the only ones that I have, so yeah. You probably know if there's a cool one that I don't have. Alright, so, and this is just my opinion. You know, I'm not saying these are the definitive five greatest, but these are just my favorites. So, alright, so, at number five is Young Frankenstein. Rest in peace to Gene Wilder. And Peter Boyle. That's his name, Peter Boyle, right? And also Crazy Eyes. Uh, well, not Crazy Eyes. <laughs> That's Orange and New Black. Uh, Igor. There you go. <laughs> not Igor. Igor. Um, he's he's dead too. I know. Um, I'm not sure about these ladies here, but yeah, all three of these guys are dead. But this is a very hilarious movie. If you've not seen it, I highly recommend it. Mel Brooks, um, one of his you know well-known comedies, and my dad absolutely loves this movie. He loves Blazing Saddles. He loves Young Frankenstein. He's always quoting them. So, <laughs> and yes, uh, metal packs, like I said, are different from steel books. They do not have a separate spine piece. Like you know, normally a steel book has a spine piece connecting the front to the back. Uh, the front and the back are connected, but they have these little plastic uh, hinges here on the inside. There is no spine piece, but still, I, I still like metal packs. They're nice. Um, so yeah, there's the title, you know, Frankenstein, 20th Century Fox, Blu-ray logo. And, of course, if there's no spine, this pretty much just folds into itself. There's no... It's not like a... It's kind of more like a book, you know what I mean? So... Alright, and then there's the back. Lightning bolts going off. It's been a long time since I watched this, actually, to be honest. So, yeah, that's that. And we're going to open it up. And inside artwork's pretty pretty simple, but a uh, nice disc there with the brain in the jar. And then they actually have this thing here. Um, enter for a chance to win an autograph set photo from Mel Brooks. Um, I, well, it expired two years, almost two years ago, but I actually did try doing it before the expir expiration date, and it did not work. Like, this website was, it, it wasn't working. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I would have, uh, you know, tried actually winning that, but it wasn't working. So, oh well, who knows, I could have won it maybe. But, uh, like I said, there's little plastic hinges here that, uh, fold, and that's how a metal pack works. And then, you have Frankenstein and Dr. Frankenstein. Uh, <laughs> right there on the inside. So, yeah. Um, I put this in number five mainly because there's not much going on. And, it's, you know, it's not like a major, re like they do new releases. They'll have a metal pack or a steel book for it. This is just an old movie that they made a 40th anniversary uh, edition for. So, but it's still a classic. You should definitely watch it. And, yeah, I, I really love the cover art. It's probably the best part about it. So, still very nice. So, that is number five. And number four is a Target exclusive, which is actually a limited edition, numbered to 30,000. Um, this is the Iron Man 2 metal pack. Uh, you probably remember this if you've been a collector for a while. Um, and I actually, um, was it in 2011 or 12? I don't remember. But it was literally like a year or two after this had come out. I, th I thought for sure this was sold out. I mean, this is before I had a job or anything, so I didn't have any money. So it must have been 2012, because this is when I started working. Um, I probably had uh, I had the money to buy this. So we were at Target, uh, me and my mom and my sister, I think, and I saw that, that they had one of these. I was like, whoa, how do they still have one of these? It's, it's been like two years. So, uh, yeah, I bought it. I mean, I didn't own Iron Man 2 yet, so I said, why not? I mean, Iron Man 2 is bad, don't get me wrong, but I, I gotta own all the MCU movies. But, uh, yeah, it's got a, this, this is a very nice metal pack, though, I will say. And it's got a nice inside, or, uh, not inside, uh, outside, uh, holographic cover. So, pretty cool. The Mark VI suit with the triangle. Um, arc reactor. And he's pointing his, uh, his, his, uh, that's an arc reactor too, right? A little tiny, uh, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> so there's the title. And I, I like that it's, uh, 
horizontal as opposed to the vertical. So, yeah. Iron Man 2. And I love the back. Basically blueprints for like uh, what Whiplash was creating, I think. And you got the Mark VI suit, and you got the War Machine armor, of course. Because this movie introduced uh, the War Machine suit. So, yeah. And then the inside. Now, there, there, there is one problem with this. Um, I'm not like, you know, saying this metal pack's not as good as the other three I have here because of this. But mine, I think the reason why they still had it was because it's actually broken. I mean, look at this. Oh, the disc actually came out. Um, this little middle part, the little hinges that hold it are broken. See right here? There's normally like two pieces so you can clip it one of the pieces is broken and then on here the opposite side is broken which is pretty funny so it's like one clip here the left one's broken one clip here the right clip's broken so it's like oh well but i do love the back of this actually uh, if you take out the discs um it's got the hall of armors and this is when he only had four suits i mean he got up to mark six like i said in this movie but his hall of armor only had the mark one two three and four and then the mark two turned into the um, war machine armor so um, and another thing I had a problem with was this little, like, sticky thing on the inside. I think it was one of those things where, like, you scan the price and it's on the inside or something like that. I don't know how it works. Um, it was, like, one of those little, I don't know. It's, like, it's like a sticky thing and had, like, lines in it. Like, if you know what I mean, I don't know if you know what I mean. But <laughs> I tried pulling it off and it's always had this, like, little residue here and it's, like, impossible to get off. I've been trying to get this off for, like, years, but <laughs> it will not come off. So... Yeah, it's nothing wrong with the metal pack itself, but yeah, this is very nice. It's just, you know, mine is broken. I think that's the only reason why they didn't sell it. Maybe somebody, well, actually, no, it was brand new. I was going to say somebody maybe returned it, but maybe they saw, they heard clanking on the inside. They figured, uh-oh, it's broken. Let's not sell this one. Let's keep it in storage. <laughs> so, yeah, my target wasn't, uh, you know, they didn't care. They were like, oh, here you go. But, uh, yeah, I'm still glad that I have this. Like I said, there was only 30000 made. Which is actually pretty low, so. Yeah. So that was that, Iron Man 2. Next up is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. One of my favorite movies from 20, 20, 2014. I don't like saying 20, whatever. Um, I like saying 2000. But uh, I absolutely love this movie when I first saw it. Um, you know, with repeated viewings, I kind of actually like it a little less each time. But don't get me wrong, it's still a great movie. Um and this metal pack is very, look at that, Koba. <laughs> it's Koba on the back. And we got Caesar on the front, of course. It's just, I really love that, and you know, the apes in this movie, that they had the war paint and everything. I love the design of that. And you can see the red, and then it's all nice and gray. This is nice and glossy. I like it. Actually, no, I feel like it's more of a, I want to say this is more of a matte finish than a glossy finish. Um, I don't know. It's like kind of hard to differentiate. If not, it's a very nice matte finish, I must say. Um, Donald Plan the Apes, like I said. Koba. And open it up. And I'm not going to show the digital copy. Alright, so let me take the disc out. Okay, and on the inside we have two more uh, apes. Ah, I can't think of their names. Um, I'm not even sure which ones these are, these are to be honest. Um, but they are two different apes. As opposed to, you know, Koban, Caesar. So, yeah, this is the, uh... You know what I just realized? This doesn't need the middle thing. Do you think I could actually, like, take this apart and switch it out for the Iron Man 2 one? Because, look, these clips actually are intact. Could I do that? Huh. Um, I don't know if I should take this metal pack apart, but... Yeah, I think I, I could be able to do that and actually switch it out. There you go. Problem solved. Huh, I might do that one day. But, uh, yeah. Um... Very nice. I love the, you know, the grays and the reds and the blacks. It's very cool. Very nice. Very stylish. Um, my only real complaint is I wish the inside artwork wasn't just, you know, two more faces. I wish it could have been something else. Like maybe a scene of when the the apes attacked the uh, the refuge place, remember? And then uh, Koba was running with the two, was on horseback with the two machine guns. I wish it was like that scene, that battle scene. That would have been cool. Or just even when Caesar was battling Koba on top of the the scaffoldings and whatnot oh, that's spoilers anyways <laughs> if you haven't seen the movie uh but yeah very good movie very nice metal pack so yes very nice and that was a best buy exclusive um from 2014 all right uh, i'm gonna move number one over so you don't see it i want to keep that as a surprise kind of 
well, not a surprise, but just, you know, oh, what is, what's it going to be? Um, and now at number two is Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1. Um, and this is very recent. I just did an unboxing a few weeks ago for this, maybe a month ago. Um, yeah, I think it was a month ago, actually. But, uh, yeah, very, it's, it's pretty simple, but I really love, I, I don't know, there's just something about it. It's cool. Stars, complete for season. And if you have not watched the show, please watch the show. It's awesome. Um, yeah, it's very, especially if you're an Evil Dead fan, uh, amazing. So yeah, the front is just, you know, the end of Ash's Chainsaw, and there's nice emboss in, um, embossing on the little pivots and whatnot, and the actual chain of the chainsaw, and there's some nice artwork here with the, uh, the woods, so that's cool. And then the back is just his custom-made hand that Pablo made for Ash, which is, you know, it's cool. If you'd open up, there you go, you got his, either his chainsaw or his hand. <laughs> Pretty simple, but, uh, I do like the, uh, inside artwork. It's basically just a cast photo. Let me just pull the discs out for you there. And on the inside, we have Ruby. We have, uh, the police officer. It'll come to me, don't worry. <laughs> we have Ash, Pablo, and Kelly. And there's actually, it looks like a dead eye. In the uh, background there, I think it's nobody in particular, it's just a deadite. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Ah, uh, what's her name? I said it'll come to me. Hold on, it'll come to me. I know the actress is uh, Jill Marie Jones. Uh, what's the character's name? Um, Amanda. Amanda Fisher. Ha! I knew it. <laughs> there you go. But uh, yeah, definitely check out the show. It's very fun, very awesome. And I don't know, just something about this metal, just just the way it is. Like it's simple, but it's like I don't know. It just feels, it just feels awesome. I don't know. And I like the very good inside artwork. So, yeah, that was my number two choice, Ash vs Evil Dead season one. And I hope they continue to do metal packs for the up. Sorry about that, my camera cut off. Uh, uh, yeah, I was saying I hope they do metal packs for the upcoming seasons of Ash vs Evil Dead. You know, just to keep it consistent, I guess. And I hope that show lasts a long time because uh, it's on the Stars Network, and you know, not everybody has a Stars channel. You got to pay for it. But uh, anyways, so my number one pick is dun 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 X Men Days of Future Past, the Target exclusive metal pack. Um, when I was thinking about what my favorite metal pack is, this just came to mind immediately. I I know I only own five, but I absolutely love this metal pack. I actually. If, if I paired my metal, my steel books and metal packs together, I think I would actually like this the most, even more than all my steel books. Um, I don't know. Um, if you want to know what my favorite steel book was, you can go check out my uh, top five steel books I did just before this. Um, I don't know. I'm actually looking at them now, both of them to the left. I can see it. Uh, I don't know. I might like this better, but uh, it's just something about this. I mean, the movie was phenomenal, but. It's just the nice gold and, you know, this back art is just awesome with the Sentinel and the X just falling to pieces. And then you can see the dystopian world. The title, it looks very nice on the shelf too, I might, I might add. And I love, I actually do love this cover that they picked with Mystique and Wolverine. It's just, I don't know, it just looks awesome. I love this pose too. He's just like, you know, looking down. He's got his claws out and you can see the shine. Just look at that. It's just beautiful. I mean, yeah. I remember when this came in the mail, I was like, oh my god, this thing looks nice. <laughs> so, yeah, um, just really nice. The gold and the blue right here and, you know, the text of the title and his claws are even shining. So I'm going to show you the inside. And the inside, too, is very nice. Let me take the disc out here and the uh, digital copy and stuff. Just look at that. Awesome. Look at that. That is what you call background art. You got the Blackbird. You got Magneto. You actually see... Uh, is that? I've actually never looked down here before. Actually, you can see Colossus. Uh, is that Quicksilver? I can't even tell. Oh no, that's Kitty. I don't know. I got this thing in the way of this person's face. But anyways, uh, yeah, Professor X. You know, young Professor X at least. Old Professor X. Old Magneto. You got Beast. You got Halle Berry Storm. You got Wolverine. Looking, you know, awesome. You got Mystique, and you got a bunch of Sentinels flying off. It's just a lot going on. It's very cool. You know, you see a little spark, you can see rubble, you, it's just very nice, and the colors are, I love the colors of this, it's like greenish blue, kind of teal color sky here, and then you go to like the golden, red, orangey, and you got the blue, it's just very nice to look at, I just love this metal pack, <laughs> as you can tell, so, 
awesome. I love this, love this, love this. It's very nice. Yeah, I mean, I honestly might... This is probably the my favorite collectible that I own. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta think... I gotta, like, really think about that. But uh, I just love this thing. So, that is my number one favorite metal pack. Let me know what you guys think of that. Um, and in the comments, you can let me know maybe what your favorite metal packs are. Um, if you'd recommend that I should get any. Um, you know, if there's any, like, well-known good ones that I don't own. Uh, just let me know. So... Yeah, that was that. And uh, like I said, you could check out my top five favorite steelbook video I did just before this. If you want to know my five favorite steelbooks that I own are. And uh, after this, I will be doing my top five favorite Funko Pops. So you could like, you could watch that too if you'd like. All right, that has been my top five favorite metal packs. Thank you guys for watching. And check out my other stuff if you'd like. And have a good one. All right, see you guys.